Hello everyone! Alright, before you end up disliking this video or clicking away or unsubscribing, hear me out first. Let me just say this first. Everything that I'm pretty much going to be saying in this video is my opinion, okay? If you have a different one, then that's okay. You can click away. This video is probably pointless and shouldn't be in your watch history. If you still don't like it and have a different opinion, you can dislike it. If you're subscribed to me and also don't like it, dislike it. Do whatever you want. You have the choice to do what you want with this video. Do whatever you want. But I'm pretty much only making this video to clear something up. And plus, I've had this idea for a video for a while now, and I might as well just do it right now. Why I'm making this video is because I've noticed from my last video, which was uh, uh, an episode review for a log date, uh, whatever, whatever, the numbers, um, that the dislikes <laughs> were a lot higher than my uh, actual likes, which I I don't really have a problem with. I think it's honestly funny, but I've noticed in the comments that people are kind of mixing things up. They say like, oh, uh, you know, y you know, he's one of the few peoples that like purely hates Paradox. Like, oh, why don't you uh, give chill episodes a chance? Uh, you know, all you do is just talk about Opal in the episode. Uh, I really want to dislike, but I'll respect your opinion, all that other stuff. Um, this video is just pretty much me talking about why I don't like Paradox. And I know that that's already like, a sin in the Steven Universe fandoms, like, oh, you can't hate Paradox, he's, like, one of the best characters ever, <laughs> but I'm seriously probably, like, the only one who hates her, or just more or less doesn't really like her, and I have my reasons. The more or less personal reasons, not really personal, but biased reasons, I suppose, and just sometimes the reasons won't really make sense, but the first reason, or, well, I should say this, <laughs> I truly don't hate Paradox. I said in my last video, I don't hate her. I said she's my least favorite gem. That doesn't really mean I hate her. Now, I'm not really counting Fusion. I'm only talking about just one gem. And I'm gonna count Garnet as pretty much one gem. Because she's always pretty much a Fusion. So, it wouldn't be really fair. Um, yeah, I don't really hate Paradox. Because in, in Season 1, she was cool. I liked her in that. She was... Pretty intimidating, and a little funny, like, you know, this green, like, gem out of nowhere with, like, these cybernetics or robotics or whatever just comes out of nowhere, and we think that she's gonna destroy the planet or something. That's really cool and mysterious, like, she's the new villain or whatever. For a while now, she was, and that was really badass, honestly. Um, we get to season two, and uh, we see her in, what was the episode she was in? Keeping it together. And that one, I liked her in that. You know, how she kept running away, which pretty funny. She kept, like, using all these different uh, powers and whatever, like running up the walls, using uh, electricity to counter Amethyst Whips, and just even flying away, for that matter. All that, that was pretty cool, I have to say. All that just from, like, her fingers and her suits that she wears. Her lemon enhancers, if that's what they're called. Yeah. Um, yeah. All that, that's pretty cool. I like that. But... Uh, but, everything I just said, her being badass, mysterious, cool, that was pretty much thrown out the window with no problem when we got to catch her release. And even a little bit before that. And thinking that she can just not do a single thing wrong, which goes into one of my points. I love how people think that Paradox, you know, she's pretty much like the star of Steven Universe right now. And that she's done not a single thing wrong, that she's so cute, nerdy, and she's like a cat and all this other stuff with memes. She's not done a single thing wrong, how can you hate her? Okay, let's pretty much not forget the fact that she tried to crush Steven with a giant hand in the kindergarten in Marble Madness with no hesitation. Let's not forget the fact that she went to Beach City with a giant hand, pretty much destroyed Beach City almost, and almost killed the Crystal Gems and Steven too. Or let's not forget the fact that she, um, she tried to zap Steven with um a gem destabilizer with no problem. Steven's pretty much only lucky. He survived that because he's half-human. Let's not forget the fact that she was gonna send them all the way to Homeworld with, in her ship pan or whatever. Is there an actual name for that? I don't think there is. Or let's not forget the fact that in Friendship that she tried to crush Pearl and Garnet within 
the ship, tried to crush them together. Or let's not forget the fact that she tried to shoot lasers at them uh, and blow them up. And t- I, I seriously lost count of how many things that she's done. I really have. And no, you seriously cannot come up with the excuse of, oh, she was just trying to defend herself. Like, only about two of those were in self-defense. All the rest were her actually trying to kill them. But people think that's never happened. Or just pretty much come up with the excuse of, oh, look at her. She's trying to be all heroic and trying to kill the gems. X-D-L-E-L. That's seriously all I see. I I see that type of shit almost every day. As if she's done nothing wrong. But then you've got people that hate on Lapis and think that she's a terrible character. And say, and always bring the fact like, oh, she tried to drown two kids. She's a terrible gem. If you like her, I hate you. You should be shot in the alleyway like the degenerate that you are, you piece of shit. There are seriously people that are like that. But if you hate on Peridot, it's like, that's even worse really. Because nobody hates her apparently. I'm pretty much the only one. I really am. Oh my god. The second reason is that I've seen too much of her. I know that's a a little stupid of a reason, but my god, I see her everywhere that I go. Anywhere I go, someone always brings up Peridot as if she's like the star of the show or whatever. That she's like the best thing that's ever happened since like Jesus Christ or, you know, actually Steven Universe. Like, Which also goes into my next point as well. Did we forget that this show was about Steven Universe, or just even about Steven and the Crystal Gems? Ever since, like, Catch and Release, all the episodes have been pretty much about Peridot. And yes, I know, she's pretty much part of the main cast and all, and we need her for character development, and she needs to interact with all the characters and stuff, but it's like, we seriously don't need, like, three to four episodes in a row of her just, like, running around like a dumbass and questioning the things on Earth. I, that gets really old really fast. Like, her just saying, like, is that a weapon? Is that a weapon? And then people thinking that's the funniest thing ever. It's like, this show is about Steven, remember? The whole show was about Steven. If there's seriously... And I'm pretty sure, like, the next five episodes are going to be about Peridot. And I'm going to, like, start a petition saying, like, you know, can we start, like, saying, um, the show might as well be called Peridot's Adventures on Earth? Because the show isn't really about Steven. Remember how, like, the Steven bomb was all about Steven's birthday? Yeah, that was honestly probably, like, not really the best episode from that week. All the week was was just Peridot fucking around. Like, the last three were. Her going on the moon, like, oh, she trash-talked uh, uh, Rose Court. What a dork. Ah, she's gonna die. Or, oh, she called Yellow Diamond a clod. Ah, what a savage. She's so funny. Or, um... In log date 152. Oh, she's part of the Crystal Gems now. My dreams come true. She's redeemed. She's like the best thing ever that's done nothing wrong. It's like, are we seriously talking about the same character here? Like, what? This show was about Steven before. Like, what happened? Yes, I know that I'm more or less like venting and just ranting. And this is all my opinion thing. And you're probably like, typing right away or texting on your phone if you're watching this on your phone or whatever saying like oh you know yes stupid reasons or this video should just be taken down of just how retarded it is or whatever it's like all this other stuff but it's like you have to remember this is my opinion people like what what i say is just what i think about the character like as i said before i don't truly hate her i just pretty much start hating her or disliking her at catch and release Everything before that was pretty cool, and I really liked it. But ever since about season two, basically, is when I pretty much started started losing interest in her. She became really annoying. Everyone kept thinking that she was the best thing ever. She pretty much just keeps stealing the, the spotlight of the show when the show is about Steven Universe. But by this point, it's just seriously about Peridot. I know I probably pissed a lot of people off. I know I have. They're probably disliking this video. They've probably clicked away. They probably haven't even made it to this point in the video. For, like, the five of you that made it and actually heard my reasons or probably even just, like, agree with one of them, thank you for, you know, keeping your cool or whatever. I can really do that, but just please respect my opinion. I know some people don't. (laughs) That's just pretty much how the internet goes. But that's just how I feel about the character. It really is, and... My opinion really isn't going to change.